among the stars the ashen fly. Beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man. Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin, toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains.
Keep the light. Hide it. Keep it. Save it. Not safe. Not safe. Never safe. those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. What a sight, our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child, vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. There's a ritual stone nearby, in the district called Vagrant's Rest. But I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. <laughs>
Give me my hammer, so I might touch the spark to the ritual stone. Bind your spirit to this place. I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. We must consult Gethin of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Gethin can be found bathing within the Annex of Light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. Do you dream? In my sleep I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it?
There's those of us that have a taste for civilization. There's others out there that just want to feast. The darkness has taken so many. Please, may I have Ahu's lockbox? So. This is all that remains of my brother's life. A crimson gourd and a crumbling map. The map may lead me to my father. The crimson gourd, I give to you. Touch the spark to the ritual stone and the crimson sap will flow. The crimson sap is the very lifeblood of the earth, healing and invigorating. If you find me the right materials, I can fortify your gourd at my work table. A fortified gourd can hold more sap. Saw 
A woman who matched Force's description near Placid Stream. Maybe for Bataran's sake, we should try to track her down. Geffen gave birth to humanity in the Third Golden Age. We are but wide-eyed children, begging for the wisdom of an ancient mother. Greetings. I am Vorsa. Have you seen how the deer move towards the light? They are drawn to the flame that now fills our sky. But that same flame fills me with dread. I've seen you with Bataran. He has a knack for taking in strays. I was like that once. As feral as a vagrant I was. Until Bataran took me under his wing. He had two arms back then. The sickness will take the other if I don't stop it. Vors is the name. And yes, I'm out here hunting for a cure. You see, Bataran's not the only one who is sick. I have a few symptoms. So do most folk. Animals, too. The shorter the lifespan, the faster the illness shows up. Not every animal gets sick, though. That's why I hunt them. To find out why. You want to help? Hunt Einar with me. They're the wild hounds. Three should be enough. 